Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are playing a different game, another game, I should say. Um, it's called The Silent Age, and I kind of want to just like do a bit of puzzling. It's not like a puzzle as in like putting stuff together, um, like a jigsaw, um, but more just like mysteries you know solving mysteries um yeah just thought i would you know try these types of games out um although i have actually played some of this game before um in the past and kind of know how some of it goes um i have in fact put this like, I recorded this game on my YouTube channel many a year, years ago. Um, but, you know, due to the cringiness, I've um, unlisted, well, I've actually, no, I've um, privated <laughs> the video, um, or videos, plural. Um, but, yeah, so, um, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess, um, this is more of official playthrough, um, of the game. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get on with the game. The present, it looks like just another Tuesday as Joe swoops down the floors of the anonymous cold office hallway. Then he notices the note, a meeting with the, the, the brass? A meeting with the brass, little does he know that today is about to take very dramatic turn. Mm. So I think it's a point and click kind of game. 1969 72 All right Oh hang what Ah oh. Okay It's a point and click game it uses the arrows <laughs> Um, okay, let's just see what's over here, red access, it's red access card reader, it uses flat cards instead of keys, also known as a key card. Hmm, what's this yellow note? There's a sticky note near the door. It says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you. Brink. Okay. It's a blue access card. The company keeps tight security. That's why I always keep cards in my place where nobody ever comes by. 
Um. Oh. Door supply. Um. So let's go here. There we go. Let's pop. Maybe put this in here. Maybe this one. Can fix it. We should be electricians. Use this for that. There we go. There we go. It's my award. I got it for helping out um, the lab assistant downstairs after he mishandled some bat barrels. I. Uh, <laughs> the award was sort of unofficial, and I was told to keep the plaque in my office so no one would get jealous. Employee of the month. I agreed to keep them here. It's one of those rubber gloves used for cleaning things. Oh, here we go. What's this? Blue access card. Oh, we can get further. Get further in the game. Um, I told mine. I don't mind them. I'm. I need a space. Well, that's super accommodating. I found this out back after last year's summer party. Perfectly good table just left out in the rain. I got that baby cleaned up real good and installed it in here. It's our coffee meeting camping table. Oh. Why are you running, man? Why are you running, man? Okay, let's check this bin. Ah, oh, here we go. I wasn't sure which. Here we go. Let's pop this one in here. I love the noise. Permission to enter the bridge, sir. Nice. Um. What do they say? Modern art. More. Intuit must be French. Who are you? I, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Cat got your tongue? Just get your hiney in there. Hmm. Looks like someone dumped an urn in there. I could have sworn I emptied it this morning. It's a common uh, Rodrion. I'm not a bit of botanist or anything, but I used to have one at home. No, I'm talking about these doors, man. They're the padded door. Interesting. Why would you have padded doors in your office? World clocks. Company performance charts. Although I'm not sure I would ever need to know what the time is in Tokyo or Berlin. Maybe I should just install an extra one for an Albert something. Picture of Nixon. Honest Richard, I could oh, call him. Jasper. It's it's Joe, sir. Uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It... it I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, 
you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works. With all the clearance that entails, that's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. I'm gonna work for man. Um, I thought his name was Joseph. Or maybe the boss's name is Joseph. I don't know. You can usually tell success by the amount of phones people keep on their desk. I don't have a desk. Can you? I always wondered who was on the other end of the red phone, but I never dared pick it up. Frank says he knows, but if he told me, he would have have to kill me. You can get him to run. <laughs> run, man. Right back in the lift you go. Um. Use this for that. Open sesame. Ooh, what's this? Tinfoil hat. That does not look like a tinfoil hat. Looks like, I don't know, sanitary or something. It looks like the blood, maybe someone cut themselves or a lab animal got loose or something. Either way, I'll be the one mopping up this time. Weird, the hatch is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspections or repairs being done today. That is weird. Hmm. Reminds me of the Pong machine that they got down on Izzy's. That thing's amazing. I've been down here almost every night after hours since they set it up. Frank says it'll be from my brain, but I think it works just fine. <laughs> it's big computery thing. I'm really not sure what it does. I took over for Frank during a sick day about a year ago. My sleeve snagged on one of these things and they closed down the lab for the day. Wow. The glass is toned, but it looks like the bunch of containers with the tube sticking out. Uh, a sonic... Wait, I need the key code, is that what it said? I don't think anyone's in there, all I can hear is the hum. Uh, label on the keypad says cyanogenics? Sin 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 or cryogenics? Um, I'm not much of an engineer, but there seems to be something attached to these wires. I clearly don't belong there. I could remove it and put the panel back in place, but if I had something to protect my hands... You surely do! You surely do, my, my dear friend. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just... okay. Just... There we go. Pop them bad boys on. Got it, I removed the thing. Oh, 
Or should we put the lab coat on? Pop it on. I said pop it on. I better not mess with it. Can we... Nope. I better not mess with the controls. Can you... Looks like something right out of a science fiction movie. It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't actually say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign reads, Caution, keep away from the liquid materials. So there's a bit of blood spatter here. Uh, management needs to know about this. I need proof this time, though. Ever since the stupid Halloween prank the science department pulled on me last year, I don't think they'll take me seriously again. No, I'm not sure that they will. Ah, uh, far out. It's one of those doors where two people have to turn the key at the same time to open it. It's like something out of a secret agent movie. Only one, only this one doesn't use keys, just buttons. I was speaking real loud. Far out. Far out. The button is a little shinier now. It does nothing to open the door. Oh, here we go. That has way better use to blood soaked hang handkerchief. There is a blood on this handkerchief. There has to be a better way to use blood soaked handkerchief. Is that what it is? That's what it is a lab coat. Is something. I'm a bit sweaty, I should keep away from that thing. Hmm. It's bad enough as it is without smearing blood all over the, th the place. In fact, I should really get going to upstairs and show this, show this to someone. Now. Maybe I'll go back out, show it to someone. Miss Goulet? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Has basement all over the blood. yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, 
But you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. Hmm? Why does she give me a band-aid? I... It's not my blood. Hmm. Something smells a little bit fishy. I wouldn't know how. Wash up, she says. How would I wash up? With toxin? I haven't gone past a bathroom yet. Unless we put the lab coat on. No. No lab coat. Could we put it on the blood? Oh, actually, let's, let's do this. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, amazing. Um, big brain, guys. Big brain. <laughs> Uh, I'm a smart one. <laughs> oh, my gold. <sighs> Mister, are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh, that's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No, don't, don't get anyone. Are you alone? I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot bad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame, and though I realized our folly in time, Less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! <laughs> I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully... You look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me 
and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> go, <coughs> go. Mister? Mister? I think he's dead. Oh god, I don't- I, Help! Help! I need help in here! Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me, I- Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Jeez. You gotta date me first. Chapter 2. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah. See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, uh, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know, uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what. I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. Um, I should think carefully before the next words I say to him. There's not much else to say. The device is pulsating with green light. I don't know for sure, but I have a hunch that the door is locked. I'm not going to try it. I hope 10 pounds you gain on TV stays permanent. I'm sure. I'm not. Sh I'm sure this isn't here for a protection. At least I'm already too stressed to worry about ca camera shyness. All right, well, let's press this then. Whoa, where did the light go? Hello? Was, was I just knocked out? I feel weird, like I was just folded flat and inflated again. Hello? 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 Creepy. <laughs> Oh man, that's bright. Boy. Okay. Man. Ugh. 
I'm dizzy. What was this? What happened here? How long, how long was I out? Ah, oh, the door's evident room is locked. J. Edgar Hoover. Who? Oh my lordy. It's locked. <gasps> oh god, what is this? I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened and now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Oh my god. It's got to be a nightmare. A hammer. They must have nailed that door to in a hurry. Whoop. Definitely unhook that. Whatever. Where am I, an animal? Well, yeah, actually. Spoilers. The hammer's useless. Oh. Far out. So that's the string that the person hang them hung themselves with. The handle up here. Okay, I just, this might be totally far out, but what if the time travel guy was right? What if this weird box in my pocket actually took me out of there? The future. I mean, think about it, Joe. What other possible explanations could there be? You're not dreaming, that's for damn sure. Head hurts too much. A big gaping hole in the floor. Big gaping hole. Um, so we need a code for the safe, I would eat Marjon. It's locked. What a drag. Oh, actually, oh, what was on top of that? Um, what's this? There's a key attached to his belt. Oh, oh, wakes me up. Doesn't fit. Maybe we go up. We use it on this one. He doesn't fit besides the door isn't locked. It's tied in place. Doesn't have Okay, it's the door downstairs. So it's this one then. Okay. Another man. I must be losing it. The police ID. That's officer from the interrogation. Boswick. This is seriously creeping me out. So,
He's going like forward in time, I guess. Maybe, I, maybe not. So we need another key, is there a key? Another key on him? Um, every five of you is telling me not to touch it even though he's skeleton, he was probably able to snap you like a twig. Hmm. I don't think that there's many or any doors that have um, key cards in this building. This is like using on a D card. Oh, do you know for the yeah. Oh, oh! <laughs> I was gonna say use a key card to use it as like a thing for the to cut the rope, but okay. So three nine five six. Three nine five six. It's a map. Bit of glue. Any others? Let's go over here, there's nothing. Oh, you, you trapped? That's it. So you can't, you can't walk over. There's just an invisible wall. Three nine five six 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 three the note, not memorize it. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm an idiot. Grab this bad boy. Mm. Nice. Now we can head out into the... That thing. It's what every safe sounds like. There we go. It worked. Ooh. <laughs> um, so a paper clip. Could we untie this? Cut the rope. What's this? Oil. Let's oil that. Oil the bad boy. No, um. Use the thing for that. Also, who keeps a bloody paper clip in a safe? Idiots, probably. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be open up, right? There's nothing in the safe, it would just be open. I don't know stuff about stuff. Oh, here we go. Let's just do this. Hmm. Let's go downstairs, maybe. See what's downstairs. Um ah uh, um
Who's in here again? <laughs> the office. Oh, here we go, here we go. I totally forgot about this. Hmm. Oh, you were... Everybody picks locks with a bloody paper clip. Are you joking? Hmm. Oh, it's rusted. Oh, here we go. There we go. Now we can do it. Wow. There we go. You can really dance. It's like we've both been dancing all this time. What a coincidence. dance. It's gonna say, my everybody in the entire world picks locks with a bloody paper clip. Don't tell me otherwise. Right, let's go up and again. Up, up and away. And then we do this. I said we use the machete on the rope. Hiya. Oh, it's a cantana. Same thing. Guardian knot. And then we go in. We go in. Oh, more dead people. What? Well, the odds. Who are you? I'm not sure I'll get used to this. I can't even tell if it's a man or a woman. I guess that's... Okay. There's a duty roster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were sick that day. Can I do this? Shibanga. Seems I have sufficient plenty already. Suffered already. Is that skeleton wearing sunglasses and a hat? Seems weird. Um, let's... Have you got anything useful on yourself? Hmm? Huh? Um... Just a regular old desk. What's this? Look. Hmm. Well, why would they... It's got to be something useful in here, because otherwise... Why would we need to come in? Seems a bit silly. Hmm? So much paper on the floor. So much paper. Oh. It's dusty. Oh, here we go. Boom. Whoa, I should be a little more careful. Let's go. Um, tree branch. <laughs> Vertigo. That's what I'm feeling right now. The branch looks sturdy enough in theory, just not sure I'll be able to make it. I need something to hold on to. Besides prayer, prayer I mean. Well, isn't this just convenient that somebody was hanging themselves? We can reuse that piece of string, <laughs> you know. Gotta reuse something, right? Reuse. Recycle. That's what they say. Sir. Sir. Where'd you go? Sir. Oh, here we go. Let's just grab your piece of string. Sorry, right, don't mind. Don't mind. Yep. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm sorry. Let's just go back up. Thank you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look after yourself, right? <laughs> the most important knot I've tied in my life. 
Oh, you single man. Single, single man. <laughs> Chapter 3 The Machine. The Machine. This is all really happening. Someone must have taken the time. I need to get over there. I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, but I have nothing else to go on. It won't budge. <gasps> Jeez. Things almost scared me half to death. The device is lit up now. The light must have recharged it. So I guess it's working again. Hmm? What's this door? Man. It's completely rusted. Most I was nothing but busted up junk now. Um. All right, well, let's use this again. There we go. That's way better. That's way better, Daesh. That's... This is current day, I assume. I assume the back door. Need to find some other way. What's in this bag? There's a screwdriver in here. Ooh. It's locked. Let's use this. Luckily it was a slammed locked. Grab this umbrella. Put it on. Or not, don't worry. Get drenched. Window. The, okay, that's from the police station. I know I haven't had great ones lately, but this is a really stupid idea. They're probably already looking for me. You think? I'm not gonna go back. In, in fact, I, sh I could block the doors that station full of trained police officers, it wouldn't hold them for more than a second. I like break into an umbrella won't save it from rusty death. Hmm. What's in here? Poison ivy? I don't think anyone actually planted this, but it goes anyway. Won't budge. What if we knock this down? Or, better still, we grab this, pull it by the... Yes. Damn. I'm getting smarter as the game goes on. ding a -ling. It's locked. It always is. It always bloody is. <laughs> I like try to open the door before I ring the doorbell. I'm like, it's locked! Ah, oh, I better ring the doorbell. <laughs> Gotta find some other way to break in. Oh, rug would come in handy. The detergent smells too homely. I'm not sure if I'm imagining this whole thing. It screws my head more than anything. I like that most things are like dull colours and the things that we need are like bright. It's good for people like me. 
Um, Alright, well that's popped down again. What if we use this again? Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I need to use that's um now we're in we're in nice Paper up some doors. Crud. The handle's missing again. Ugh. Open this up. There we go. What's this? Hmm. There's even an outline. Oh, there's a key. Nice. Hmm. So if you use a key for that. Nice. So that's one. Let's play with my lip. Done. Oh, it's seeping into the soil. Nice. Swimming in the wallpaper paste. I guess that's good. Oh. What about this? I think I'm done here. Are you? the point of that hmm? I just want to see what everything looks like ah oh, it is open I found a nightstick and I just threw up up a little. I didn't exactly expect to find anything, anything caught. Any corpse. Um, okay. So... Oh, here we go. Man. Whoa, okay, hang on. Damn. 
it fits but the door seems bolt on okay yep so if we go back in it's already open i am aware so here we go there we go nice Hmm. Just have a look around. TV. Any keys? No. It's a, there's a back alley I should be able to slip into it. It's not far down either. Fortunately, there's another one of those windows that don't open. It's another one of those windows that don't open. Couch potato. I'm meant to deny any serious threat and issues that the fatal incidents have been reported all morning are all completely natural and unrelated. Well, <laughs> what a weird um, place to end up just like mid, um, mid game. <laughs> um, I think, well, no, I think I'm just stuck. <laughs> Um, can I keep hearing the microphone? So, um, I think this is like a, this is quite a short game. Um, I don't know how many, well, I think there's like 12 chapters, I think. Um, yeah, so, only a short one, which is nice. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. That would really help me. Um, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and you can turn the notification bell on. That would also help. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next one.